Mom, you know you've always brought the same laundry detergent. <laughs> and have you noticed anything? Like, like, any like me? <laughs> <laughs> and she's like opening up to her family, and her family's like, "Why is there a film crew here? <laughs> what is happening?" <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome. We're checking out TLC My Strange Addiction where a woman eats 100 bars of soap every year. And I'm joined with the beautiful Ethan King Grayplay. King Grayplay is the man, the myth, the legend. You love eating soap, beautiful. right? Beautiful. Yeah. I love eating soap. Yeah, I just have those little conditioner bottles in my shower mm -hmm. and I just mm -hmm. like squirt it into my mouth. It's wonderful. Oh, yeah, that's exactly why you're here because you were... <laughs> you, you were... Keeps you clean on the inside. <laughs> You are a professional soap eater. You can tell us all about what this lady's going through. For context, um, I don't actually eat soap. People what? watching at home, uh, you probably shouldn't do that. It's probably not good for you, but maybe it is. Can't maybe believe it. Maybe we're about to learn something. Have you ever had your mouth washed out with soap? Did, did you have that happen to you? Uh, a... No, mm. I never had that happen. It's like a my, my boomer man like story here. It's like, yeah, you know, back in my day when my parents freaking washed their mouth out with soap. But I did say a dirty word once. My mom threatened it once. Oh. <laughs> uh, she threatened to do it, but I it never happened. Oh, I did. I was like, my mom was on the phone. It was like the old landline. She was like talking to my grandma. And I was like, I want to talk to grandma. And she was like, shh, because apparently it was something serious. I just, you know, yelled out, just, just dropped a big old shh on her, you know? And she was like, I'll call you back and hung the phone up. And uh, she put some, <laughs> she put like some, oh my God, can you hear my kids right now? They hear I the story. Hear they're, they're screaming upstairs because I'm telling them that they're, they, they <laughs> they're like, no. Their favorite story. <laughs> Not grand. Uh, but she, um, uh, like the, like the dawn, like, the dish soap, the, this yeah. like super concentrated stuff. You put on a toothbrush and brush my teeth with it. That's but, awful. I That's loved so every minute of it. Worse than like I loved it. Than just putting a bar of soap in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. She's That's like so bad. I, apparently, it was so bad it got stuck in my teeth, and she had to really get it. Get it. She had to actually brush her teeth for real. Yeah, I love my mom. It's okay. Don't call. Don't call anybody. This wouldn't show. This is fun. All right, let's watch this thing. I'm Tempest. I'm 19 years old. I'm in college. And I'm addicted to eating laundry detergent and soap. Oh, hang on a second. Oh, that's ah! so much worse. Ugh. Laundry detergent. Hang on, I was just looking that's at this. That's so much worse. Is she even eating it? She's just kind of like her hands covered it up. I don't know if she's actually just she's just, just pouring it all out. It. She's just doing <laughs> shots of laundry detergent. She took the Tide Pod challenge too seriously. She that's <laughs> so much worse than just. I thought she was just gonna be eating normal soap. God. How do? How do you get into this? Uh, she's probably gonna explain. Oh, I'm sure she's got a whole story to tell. Like, what? Oh my! <laughs> One day God. she just, you know, saw this YouTube challenge about eating Tide Pods, and she was addicted ever since. You know, it was great. Ugh. It was so crazy how when that was happening, they had to lock Tide Pods up. Yeah. Did they do that where you were? Yeah, yeah. They had like the big security things, and yep. Yeah, that was what a time to be alive. What's Love the big? That. What's the big challenge these days? Probably just like TikTok dances, but I haven't seen oh. any weird like eating stuff. Soon, when everyone's vaccinated, the spitting in each other's mouth challenge. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, no. Oh, gross. Can't, can't wait oh, for that. Oh, no. Uh, every morning, oh. I do actually wake up and go right down to the laundry room. It's extremely embarrassing. How embarrassing is it? Because you're doing a show about it right now. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how she really yeah. feels about this. Yeah, I don't think it's that embarrassing if you're doing this. But also, like, just doing the powder, that's so bad. Yeah. Why? Why? Eventually in these shows, they go and ask a doctor if they should stop. <laughs> okay. And all the time, they're like, yeah, no, nobody should do this. This <laughs> well, is really bad. Well, I talked to the doctor. My life's changed now. I guess I'm going to try to stop. La, la, la. <laughs> Has nobody in your life told you to stop? Well, it's embarrassing. She doesn't want to tell anybody except for, you know, TLC. Except for 301,000 people. Yeah. All right, Dad. And it looks like this. Oh, God. Tastes like... Will she eat it? it w I mean, it does just look like sugar, so it's not like it looks gross, but... Well, the way, no. they're, the way they're cutting this, like... We can't see like where. Yeah, these illusions. Yeah, where she put? What did she put her finger? Like, what? She had some on her finger here. Uh huh. And she like put it in the edge there. Yeah, where, where, where did she get uh -huh. this? And then she, it just kind of disappears off her finger. She's like, mm, tangy. I don't. <laughs> I think TLC is lying to us. Mm. I don't think she's actually eating it. Mm. They're doing fancy movie magic to make us think. See, we're all sheep, Ken. We're all sheep. We've been <sighs> tricked and fooled by Hollywood Hollywood magic. And it looks like this. 
Yeah, they cut it. Sweet, salty, sour. It's got it all. So this <laughs> <is> right. <laughs> every every sensation that you could possibly mm. have. Mm. Ooh, is that barbecue sauce too? Mm. Delicious. It's like the girl from from Willy Wonka, where she's like, it's a whole Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> And here comes the dessert. Here comes the pie. They're going to roll her out here in a minute, but it's going to be intestinal swelling instead oh of... Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't understand how she's describing it like that, though. How is it all of those <laughs> things? Well, all see, right. she doesn't have any taste buds left. She's fried them all. She's like, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this will last me like 15 minutes. 15 minutes. And I want some more. So it's not just an original, like, it's long lasting. <laughs> so she's going back for like multiple hits every day. Also, how is, I mean, there's a lot wrong here because she's eating <laughs> yeah. detergent and soap, but how are you not concerned if like the taste lingers for 15 minutes? Like that's a pretty long time for yeah. a taste to linger like that. Yeah, what if it's like, like, the, like the sensation of just like her mouth melting that she's like, <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> that's probably what it is. It's probably just burning her tongue off. <laughs> I've always loved the smell of laundry detergent. Oh, she's and smelling it. And during the times I would be stressed, I would smell and it tends to like calm me down. I mean, it does smell good. Yeah. I, I like it. I, and I mean, that's that's sort of what's supposed to happen with laundry detergent. It makes <laughs> yeah. things smell good. I enjoy the smell of gas like I'm filling my car up. I'm like, hmm. mm -hmm. you know, I, I don't I don't hate it, but I don't like like just for like sticking my nose in the <laughs> I don't start eating yeah. it or anything. Oh, she really did it. She just takes it straight to the Oh head. my god. <laughs> I hope she don't pay for premium. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna get the good stuff. <laughs> not how regular. I but, love the smell of a freshly mowed lawn, but I'm not eating grass. Well, I don't not, like doing that. That's a lot more healthy than the example I gave. Yeah, that is that is true. You could I, actually probably eat grass and be fine. I feel oh, like God. I'm supposed to eat laundry detergent because it feels so right. It just feels right. There's some serious stain. What? <laughs> Oh, what a weird answer. Oh. <laughs> just feels right. It just it feels so right. Right there in the Did they say the how old she is? 19. Uh, how old are you? Okay. I'm 24. Well, you're light years ahead of her as far as <laughs> maturity I goes, mean, right? The, the age difference isn't that great. But yeah. even at 19, I knew not to <laughs> eat laundry detergent. Oh, okay. It's kind of common sense. Yeah, it's a little oh. kind of normal. You know, don't eat that. It has like but warnings hey, in the box. It it feels right. It just... <laughs> it feels right. There are some serious dangers. Things like causing ulcerations in the mouth, the esophagus, the stomach, the intestine. I love how they bring in a doctor to be like, hey, we have a professional here to tell you that you shouldn't do this. But it's so obvious. Like, yeah, of course yeah, it's you, bad you for you. You don't gotta tell us. <laughs> we know, man. It's bad. Tempest also eats soap. I was playing this uplifting music while it's like, ah, oh, but she also eats soap. Dun, 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 dun. It's, it's not even the <sighs> bar soap. Like, at least with the bar soap, you're getting, like, some crunchy stuff. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> well, that's crunchy, worse. You got crunchy soap? Well, like, if you're eating bar soap, like, you, you eat it off the bar. You know, you have um, to chew it. Oh, maybe you got the... She's just licking suds. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Ugh. I eat the soap oh. when Ugh. I wash my hands. I eat the soap when I take a shower. Yeah. I even eat the soap sometimes, like in my bed. Think what? about the it just eats it everywhere. Like green egg, it's the green eggs and ham story. Except, I, yeah, yes, Sam, I am. I'll eat that soap in the shower, mm. on the toilet, in my bed. Now I want to know what her preferred soap is. Because yeah. they've all got to have different flavors, she's a, right? She's got a brand. So like, Tempest needs to. <laughs> start a youtube channel and do a soap oh, tier list yes. is what we need from tempest soap reviews there you go hmm? oh my god soap review okay so soap washes you know it picks the dirt off of your skin mm -hmm. and washes it and then you rinse it off and it goes away she's like over here washing her muddy hands looking it up she's over here <laughs> washing her ass looking it up her <laughs> muddy hands do you think that she's just constantly playing in mud and dirt oh, better go wash my hands again looking it up the oh, next God. step after this is uh is hand sanitizer which oh. i wouldn't be surprised if she gets to that oh, point that, that's gonna that, that's gonna hit just right you know just, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like drinking yeah. straight alcohol i basically mean i feel refreshed oh, God. and so if i feel refreshed 
On the outside, why not feel refreshed? Was that whole Todd Pod she just ate? What was that? <laughs> that was the joke that I made in the beginning. It's like, I feel good on the outside and then I'll feel good on the You're inside. Right, yeah. Oh my god. You're, you called it, man. What is this thing that she just popped in her mouth though? Is this like what is this thing? I think it might be a oh, I think it's either a Tide Pod or just like a little square of soap. It's like the thing from <laughs> Like you put in your 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 dishwashing machine, right? The, yeah. The, oh God. What are we some some awards for? What do you think? What is that right there? Like like a fireman? What is that? <laughs> that does look like a fireman. <laughs> no, they, they go they go have to call the fire department after this. Jesus Christ. God, no, her dad's probably a firefighter and he goes out and he saves the town. He comes home to his daughter who's addicted to eating soap. <laughs> in the corner like dad. <laughs> God, and he's so disappointed. He he wanted her to grow up and and be the next fire chief, but oh um, you know, oh, what he soap all the time. So. I mean, maybe it's the uh, is this. I don't know if this is a good good way to take the conversation, but when, you know, whenever she has to like pass the soap, oh. <laughs> you didn't flush. There's like just a bunch of suds in the toilet. <laughs> Oh no! And then she's like, "Well, I better eat that too." You know, <laughs> she probably, she probably does like poop out. If you're eating that much soap, oh, she's squeaky clean, dude. God, Inside and out. <laughs> oh god! They never have to wash the toilet. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> she, she goes out and plays at a water park, and she starts sudden up. You know. <laughs> I've been stressed a lot more with school, me graduating high school, so now we entering college. Now the way she's putting this soap down with this camera, she, she must be having a panic attack right now because she's, oh my God. she's taking it out. Also, like, thinking about it from production standpoint, uh -huh. are they just like, hey, we need you to eat, <laughs> eat a bunch of soap for these shots right? now? We were only so here for like four just... hours, so hook it up, girl. Yeah, they're <laughs> encouraging it. They're like, oh, wait, sorry, we didn't, that was out of focus. We need you to do that again. Mm -mm. <laughs> God, we need you to down another cap full of of downy. Oh yeah. Oh. oh. Does she have? Does she ever have soap hangovers? <laughs> right? Do you think if you're eating a bunch of so there's so many chemicals in there, do you think that you would get like drunk or something? I mean, she's be, like, or high? Dehydrate? I mean, probably all all those. My roommates, they have an idea of what's going on, and they know you know I like the smell, and they know I enjoy washing with. Um, soap, but they don't really know oh. the full extent. It, it catches me off guard every time because just like, nah, nah, just like throws it in Take there. Up. So I just want to go ahead and lay it all out on the table, and hopefully their opinion doesn't, you know, hurt me too much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Look, I'm not, you know, you know, you should never shame anybody, right? But there's some things in life you should be ashamed for. All right, <laughs> eating soap is probably one of them. You should be ashamed of this. God dang. Yeah. Also, um. You know, college is a. I I never went to college, <laughs> but but from my uh from what I know, uh, especially like freshmen, pretty judgmental people. I, mm -hmm. I feel like you might have a rough go of it in college <laughs> if people know that you right. eat soap. You're gonna be known as Soap Girl. Oh, uh, there's God dang. Oh, she's in high school. She's probably already known as Soap Girl. Go to yep. follow her. You know how like you you get bubbles in your hands like from the soap. Yeah, yeah, we understand how you yep. wash your hands. Yes, like this girl right here is like freaking like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we know how washing your hands works. When I eat it, that's nasty. That's nasty. This soap. Why? You're gonna be. Uh, that's quick. Like, that's nasty. That's the. I yeah. think it's the first time on the show of actually anybody's gone. No, you <laughs> should. That's gross. They're usually Those like. Those are good oh. friends. Oh, yeah, these are, these are your real friends. Sometimes on the show, they call their cousin up. And they're like, yeah, I like to eat rocks. And they're like, oh, how long have oh, you been oh, doing this? Okay. Oh, do you think it's healthy? Like, no, she's eating rocks, oh. dude. These are reliable <laughs> friends. You need friends that are going to call you out, especially oh if you're doing something like this that could be potentially harmful. These are good friends. Tempest, you have good friends oh. on your side. Just mm -hmm. listen to them. Okay, and that's for the laundry detergent. Um... I eat that too. That's right. What? <laughs> good so friends. Do this, like... Picture something making you feel so good that you you feel like you can't help it. That it does become an addiction. You need to stop. Mm -hmm. hey, good friends. You need to stop. Yeah. You need to stop. Also, I <laughs> I love how she just defined addiction to them. So good, you can't help it. Pretty much, yep. <laughs> Imagine you like doing something so much that you feel like you need to 
do it. What? I wish there was something. What's there's a there's word a for word that? I just can't. For that. You know, I think I'm a pioneer here. I'm, I'm really, I'm really on the cutting edge of something. I just know it. It's hard for me to to, to hear this from you. This difficult. Uh, she, this, I don't think this girl said anything yet. She's been just staring at her like <laughs> she is oh. really, really mad. I was dealing with it. I've been dealing it. Yep. Oh, oh, you think that's straight detergent right there? <laughs> yep. Don't let your dogs like lick lick her tears or anything like that. They're gonna get poisoned. She's gonna wipe the tear in a minute. And just go start sudden up on her cheek, and she's gonna like, oh. Mm -hmm. man. <laughs> oh. She tries to wipe it away. It gets I do think that Tempest needs to receive help. So maybe seeing a doctor would probably help her. The flashback. Ah, I think she needs help. <laughs> The oh enabling boy. that happens with this film crew. <laughs> They're all about it. <laughs> I just have a question real quick. Yeah. Is she's she's like, I think my roommates are are figuring out that I'm eating soap or mm -hmm. whatever. How much time is she spending in the like that's I in my mind a quick thing where like you're washing your hands and then you take a few licks of the soap. How how are they catching on? Yeah, that's, like, how extreme that's a good point. is this? Even if someone went to the bathroom a lot, it's like, why would you still think they're eating soap? I don't... Yeah, it's just like, no, they probably just have IBS or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, now she's got to tell her parents. So uh, mm -hmm. she, I thought she was in high school at the beginning of this. Now she says she's back from college. She's going to tell her family about it. Time has passed. Oh, boy. Mom, you know you've always brought the same laundry detergent. <laughs> and have you noticed anything? Like, like, like me eating it. <laughs> you guys, you guys, it's just like, uh, you know that, uh, you know that you guys have been. She's like opening up to her family, and her family's like, "Why is there a film crew here? What is happening? <laughs> What's going on?" That's when you know it's really, really bad. <sighs> is if you're opening up to your family and there's like film crew around you. Like, oh boy! All right, what would you do? But I just taste it like a little bit. <laughs> Why do you, you taste laundry detergent? Why that makes no sense. Yeah, I, thank you, mom. Thank you. <laughs> now it's in the obvious. That makes no sense. Mom, get her. Mom, mom must have washed her mouth out with soap at one time, and she was like, mm. <laughs> "Do you think the mom blames herself?" She's like, I started this. If I washed my child's mouth out with soap, I feel like any parent I would blame myself. Yeah, I think like any parent or their kid like does something extremely weird like this. They're like, where did I go wrong? <laughs> what did mm -hmm. I do? Because of the smell lasts longer in my mouth. I are mean, you serious. I, how much detergent are you eating a day? How and how many times a day are you eating it? Oh, god dang! You know that you know that duck casserole dish we have. <laughs> I fill it up right to the beak. <laughs> Mommy thought I was putting a little salt on my on my fries. No. <laughs> detergent. <laughs> She's swapping all the salt in the house out with detergent. She's just poisoning her whole family. Oh, God. It's just tasty, Mom. It's just, Dad. I'm talking to Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just bad. Uh, these so questions. Good. I'm talking to my mom right now. <laughs> Shut up, sister. I'm talking to mommy. Are you crying? Jasmine, it's gonna be okay. Are you crying? Oh, what? This is the, she's so rude to her sister here. <laughs> like, is, are you crying? I'm just poisoning myself slowly by eating soap multiple times a day. God, did you, did you just try to talk to me? I'm talking to mommy. Get out of here. You crying? <laughs> talking to mommy. Ugh. Stuff is an edible tempest. You can't just sit there and eat it. It's not food. Wait, like, it's not? <laughs> well, what? Huh? That's the, like the, huh? the groundbreaking realization that she has. And she's like, I thought it was. Food. So I figure instead of me like being addicted to anything else, she said she said she's addicted to it. Like, I mean, that's the proper. Oh, you just said you're addicted to it. <laughs> the first step oh. is realizing that you have a problem. <laughs> well, yeah, this is much better than me doing like you know crack or something. You know, mom, come on, you know, just detergent. It's so much cheaper, I guess. Uh, I, don't I think I'd rather. I think I'd rather have my child smoke cigarettes than eat. <laughs> detergent every day because i think long form that's probably way worse i don't know yeah. maybe it's not i, I appreciate I, I always love the examples you give because they're so much less extreme than mine i'm over here like instead of doing crack and you're like yeah <laughs> cigarettes <laughs> well, you need help then yeah, you need i help. think it's important to find out where this is coming from i'm washing the dishes right now 
Would they make so. her take the freaking tab <laughs> off the miracle whip? <laughs> yeah, I think they did. Just put it away. <laughs> <laughs> then leave it out. I would like her to get God. some help and find out why she does this. Yeah, yeah, get her, get her some help. Today I'm here. Ah, oh, she's going to see the psychologist. All right. Here we go. Yeah, better not go to like a, don't go to your like normal doctor that would be like, your liver is gone. <laughs> it's, it's disappeared. <laughs> it's completely just a, gone. There's just a bar of soap here. I don't know what happened. <coughs> oh, God. You've been eating too much soap? Oh, God, it's, get, it's killing me. The reason I know you're here is to talk about what these, the soap and the detergent may be doing to you. You need to find your psychologist that can complete a sentence, I think, and you'll be in good hands. It's bad. No, it's, it's going to be bad for you to <laughs> eat soap. Mm, don't do it. That one's bad. Thank you. That'll be $1,000. <laughs> oh, wow. I better stop eating soap so I can afford that. <laughs> well, the detergent has sodium carbonate and sodium percarbonate. Okay, that's bleach. Oh my god. <laughs> the soap. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You didn't, <laughs> you didn't think that the detergent would have uh, chemicals like that? It probably it? says on like the front of it with bleach, you know? <laughs> probably. <laughs> have you ever gone to the grocery store and bought detergent? It says the stuff on the front of it. Oh my god. That's bleach. Oh my god. And with the soap. <laughs> It's basically lye. Lye is used as paint stripper. Paint stripper? She must be. She must have had a bunch of soap when she came in here. She was feeling real nervous because she's just... Paint strip what, bruh? I love how shocked she is. <laughs> like, yeah. You can't put this in your body. It's like a completely different person. She had so much more emotion talking to her family. Now she's getting told what's in there. And she's like, huh? Lie? Oh, yeah. You lying to me? Ugh. That's intense. Well, when you ingest lye, it can cause chemical burns. I'm most worried about my health. You know, on the outside, I'm really... <laughs> God. I can't even. She flipped real fast. <laughs> I'm most worried about my health. Oh, God. God. Well, even the freaking camera crew's done because they, they can't even... They, they, they have more focus on the plant right now. Than yeah. <laughs> So on the outside, oh. I may look healthy, but on the inside, like something could seriously be wrong with me. Yeah. How do you? That's usually... so funny because that's the exact opposite of what she said earlier. Yeah. Of like, if I feel good on the outside, I want to feel good on the oh, inside, that's and great. that's exactly what soap and detergent is doing for me. It's making me feel good. Mm. It's healthy to be able to say to <clears throat> your friends or your family that, look, such and such is bothering me. But what you're doing is, in some sense, is eating soap instead <laughs> of talking to people. <laughs> <laughs> what is, who, who is the camera guy this time? They, they just love plants, whoever it is. It's the only thing in focus yeah, again. It seemed to me as if Tempest was using the detergent and soap as an escape when she has any sort of stress in her life. I think. I mean, all I'll do is watch. Like a seven minute <laughs> clip of this, and I, I could have talked to that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right from the beginning. Dang. Yeah, I think it's probably a coping mechanism yeah. because mm. uh, I don't think, I don't know. She was not aware of some of the negative consequences, which include chemical burns to her mouth, ulcers in her stomach, <laughs> the slow motion <sighs> shots of her know, eating dude. soap. I'm actually going to give you the list of negative consequences. Okay. So that you can always pull that out. And look. What, she write it down on the notepad? She didn't print it out? Like, you said they're flipping. Like, oh, yeah, somewhere here I wrote it down. Uh, <laughs> no, it's probably, she probably filled up that entire notepad. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> with, with the negative <laughs> side effects of eating detergent every day. <laughs> Tim has moved back uh, home with her parents to deal with her addiction. She has stopped eating detergent, but still enjoys enjoy smelling it. Hey, that's oh, okay. She did it. It's a she did it. That's a, it's a healthy middle ground. Middle ground. That's rare. I don't know. If, I don't know how much of the show you've ever seen, but that hardly ever happens. <laughs> Jerry McNutt. Sorry. <laughs> Funny name. Wow. 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 Just wow. Let's see. <laughs> it's extremely embarrassing. Goes on national TV for everyone to see. Yeah. I'm mm. I'm surprised she could eat soap for that long and not go to the hospital. Yeah. I mean, Again, like the doctor said, there's bleach in the detergent. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she just did it because she wanted to be on the show. I kind of hope that's the case and she wasn't actually addicted to it. How many people do you think go on strange addiction or start doing weird stuff like that just to get on the show? Well, I mean, there's people I that- I bet there's people. Yeah, there's gotta be. I mean, people actually like being on reality TV, right? So there's plenty of weird people out there. <laughs> 
Well, that I can't wait to, <laughs> you know, stop recording and go and just down a whole glass of soap. <laughs> I, I just, I can't wait myself to just go and just pour bleach on my eyeballs after watching. <laughs> clean on the outside, mm. clean on the end. Yeah, well. Thank you for joining me. Uh, today's your birthday, guys. Happy birthday. Say toasty. Check out Ethan Crank Gameplays. It's a fantastic dude. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. It feels right.